Early morning call to talk about a jazz violinist. Good morning, Billy. Good morning, Charles. I didn't know there was any such thing as a jazz fiddle until when I was a kid, I came across the old Commodore records of Stuff Smith. I used to love Stuff Smith. He was marvelous. I worked with him. And Did he you? Was, yeah, he was an exciting player. But uh, you, you, your point is well taken because the violin in jazz has not been very well documented. Uh, it goes all the way back to blues fiddle. And uh, I only know one person. I think uh, Julie Lyons Lieberman is the only one I know who's really kind of uh, uh, focusing on this and saying jazz fiddle is as important as jazz trumpet, jazz piano, or, or any of the other instruments because it made a unique uh, contribution just to the vocabulary as, as well as the uh, uh, repertory that we all play. Um, Claude Williams has, has been at it for a while. Yes, he has. He's about 86 years old, and this guy uh, was the first, uh, not only violinist, but he was the first guitarist with the Count Basie Band. So he was one of the main people in the Kansas City uh, sort of uh, uh, period of, of uh, jazz. What about Kansas City, Billy? I, I know there was a Kansas City period. Can, can you still hear good music there? You can hear wonderful music. Some great players are still there, and they're still coming up. And they're coming up in the spirit of uh, the uh, Claude Williams. And so music is still being heard there. Uh -huh. A lot of activity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 18th and Vine, that's really a, a very well-known uh, That's Claude Fiddler Williams taking me on a tour of Kansas City's one-time jazz district. Before the old street closed down, he was a star here. Uh, modern stuff. Because yeah. I never did try to play the modern stuff. I don't like to play over people's head. I want to always know when I'm playing. Really? You know? Yeah. Did you ever play at Lucius? Yeah, we yeah. Did. I practically opened it up. No kidding? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? What'd you have? What kind of swinging strings? What, what kind of group was that? What, 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 what instrumentation? A fiddle and two guitars and a bass. No kidding? Yeah. <laughs> but that, you know, that must have been really uh, pretty wild in those days with true, with, you know, when uh, um, everything was wide open, oh, 24 yeah. hours. No clothes. And all that. No, didn't yeah. ever close. Yeah. Right. Just closed the door long enough to. To clean up. You uh -huh. know. Yeah, right. Well, and start again. What is this place we're in? What, what, what is this place? Well, this is a musician's foundation. I mean, it was uh, oh, back in early 1900s that it was started here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, at that time, they had two, two unions. Mm -hmm. So this was a black union, 627, mm -hmm. and they had mm -hmm. white union downtown, 34. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's been practically all the... I would say the best musicians in the world have come through Kansas City, you know, and got the Kansas City stamp. <laughs> Uh, when you got started, you, did you just get, get started on the fiddle? No, no. My brother-in-law was uh, knew quite a bit about string instruments, and uh, he'd be s sitting around the house playing the old blues on the guitar, you know, boo dee do dee da do dee ho dee do. <laughs> and when he'd lay the guitar down, you know, I didn't have nothing else to do around home. I'd pick it up and I'd do dee. And <laughs> Claude Williams was five or six years old then, and living in Muskogee, Oklahoma. World War I hadn't started yet. The guitar led to the mandolin, which led to the cello. Then one night, 
jazz fiddler Joe Venuti came to town. Uh, Joe Venuti came through uh, Muskogee, and he played at a, at a pavilion. You could hear Joe Venuti on top over all them other. Really? I told him, I said, that's what I want to play. I was listening to that fiddle. I said, that's what I want to play. <laughs> so uh, they went to town, they all went and traded the shallow yeah. for a fiddle. Mm -hmm. And brought it home, I guess, around 5 or 6 o'clock that evening. And before I went to bed, I was playing do 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 Before he was a teenager, he was playing in string bands, making a few bucks and loving every minute of it. in barbershops and play uh, like Gulf Coast Blues and mm -hmm. other different mm -hmm. popular numbers that they recognized. But, but that was in, in the blues style? Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And they tip us, you know, because the uh, oh, teacher used to tell me in school, I'd be sitting up in school sleep, she said, <laughs> better let that fiddle alone, try to learn something, you know. I said, finally, I, I just had to quit school because, I mean, I wasn't interested in nothing mm -hmm. in school. You really wanted to play? He moved around a lot in those early years, playing with many of the jazz giants. But he kept going back to where the action was, Kansas City. That was it. Come through Kansas City and get the, get the stamp on you, and you can go anywhere. Anywhere being New York, for instance. Bring him back here to the bandstand on New York City, where he joined the jazz scene 60 years ago with Andy Kirk's band, 55 years ago at Roseland with Count Basie's orchestra. Fiddler Claude Williams coming up here on the bandstand. Listen to Claude Williams play. It almost sounds like he's got a horn in his head. He's still doing his share of gigs in Kansas City, too. Still turning the cats on. recording in the last few years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why uh, uh, did it take you so long, do you think? Well, by me laying around Kansas City, and I wasn't, you know, where nothing was happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now they found you. Well, <laughs> I hope. Yeah. So, they digging me from all parts now. That's great. So at 82, Claude Williams is finally being recognized. But then, laying around Kansas City in the old days wasn't all that bad. Looks like maybe Joe Williams Joe, and, yeah. and, and, and Macy, Park, yeah. Charlie Parker. There you go. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know what to do. I know what to do. <laughs> all right. 